Welcome to the Clemson Insiders videocast. I'm Will Vandervoort as we kind of do a different thing here with TCI. We're going to kind of talk to some legends from Clemson University. And, and one of our legends is this guy sitting out here to my left is Clemson, former Clemson Athletic Director Terry Don Phillips. He's on here to speak to us today about the program and his tenure at Clemson and, and what that was like. And then also we're going to kind of go into uh, Coach Sweeney's hiring and, and then what Dabo has done to this point and, and his thoughts on the state of the athletic department now. Uh, we're going to break this up into several series, so we we'll hope you enjoy watching them. And first of all, I want to go ahead and welcome in our guy, our guest here, Coach uh, Terry Don Phillips. Coach, thanks for coming well, and doing this. You're, you're the first guy here, and we appreciate you coming and, and sitting down with us today. Um, you know, I want to talk to you because you mean you've had a lot of talks when I was with, with IPTA Media, and I, I, we go in and we talk about how we're going to write your column and things of that nature, and, um, and we always ended up going off topic. And, and having good long conversations, and I and I do appreciate all those times that you uh, spoke to us those times. Um, and so it got me to thinking, okay, there's a guy who's got some stories. Terry Don Phillips has got some stories that I think people will be interested in hearing. And so one of my, my favorite stories that you tell is the uh, the first time you came to Clemson uh, back in the '70s when you were at Virginia Tech uh, and you were scouting the Clemson Virginia game, I believe. If you could tell me that story and and what it, what. What surprised you about Clemson in, I guess it was like 1975, I believe, or something like that? Yeah, somewhere in that uh, era. I had, I had just finished playing in Arkansas and, uh, and came over with uh, my, my position coach. Uh, I got the head job at Virginia Tech, and, and uh, he offered me an opportunity to come uh, work for him. And so I went to Virginia Tech, and, and uh, and that's really an outstanding place up there. But one of my first assignments was to uh, uh, come and uh, scout uh, Virginia. And Virginia was playing uh, at Clemson, and this was back when Virginia was Virginia. <laughs> they were white meat. <laughs> they, they were not very good. But anyhow, uh, and that, in that particular year, in, in all due respect, Clemson wasn't very good, mm -hmm. and uh, and the thing that really caught my eye about Clemson is that when I got down and of course uh, was able to go over in the athletic department and and uh, break down film and uh, review film to get ready uh, for the game Saturday, and then I went downtown and it looks about the same today as it <laughs> did then. Yes, it does. Uh, Walked around and, and uh, uh, you know, the, it was very crowded. Uh, a lot of people downtown uh, uh, shopping and going to uh, eating establishments and of course, uh, probably drinking a few beers along the way. And, <laughs> and, uh, and just walking around, I'm thinking, boy, this is, this is a really, you know, neat college town. And then the, uh, uh, next day, uh, when uh, Clemson was playing Virginia, uh, and again, it was at that point, uh, Virginia was uh, not good at all, mm -hmm. and Clemson was just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But the stands were packed, and uh, and I, you know, it just really amazed me that that uh, you know. People were crammed into the stadium uh, the way they were, and it, it was really two. Uh, you had one bad team in Virginia, and then you had one mediocre team in Clemson, but those stands were packed. And, uh, and you know, when, when I went back to Tech, I mean, I said, I can't believe that place down there. I mean, uh, uh, the environment they have, the spirit they have, uh, just a tremendous place. And that was my first experience with Clemson. I know um, you, me as me and you talked about that story that let, let, later on, you had an opportunity, you could have come with Coach Pell to Clemson back in the, after he got the job. And, um, and then you made a recommendation that Coach Pell, since you weren't going to come down, you made a recommendation for somebody else maybe that was working with you at Virginia Tech. <laughs> Who was that guy you recommended? Oh, it was somebody <laughs> I've, I've had a long history with. Uh, uh, yeah, Charlie... Uh, Coach Pell uh, got the uh, head job, uh, 
And uh, he offered me a job to come down and coach the defensive line. And, and I had gotten involved in working on uh, uh, my doctorate at Virginia Tech. And, and I had too much in, involved in that, just walk away from it. So uh, I had to uh, uh, buy out of it. And, and then Coach Fell, he's, he said, well, what about Ford? Do you think Ford will come down here? I said, well, I don't know. Well, he said, well, will you go back and, and uh, see if he has an interest? So I went back and bumped into Danny, and, I, and, uh, and the rest is history. And, you know, he, <laughs> you just yeah, bumped he had, into yeah, him. Yeah, he had an interest. He, you know, and he came down, and, of course, Danny's a great coach. And, and, uh, but uh, so, uh, uh, of course, there's a lot of forward stories that we can get into. <laughs> that we probably can't talk about on here. <laughs> uh, but, but anyhow, it, it, it was uh, a great happening, you know, for Danny to come down and what happened uh, mm -hmm. afterwards. And, and when, when Charlie went to, uh, left Clemson and went to Florida, I did, I had finished up my work at Virginia Tech. Have. And so I did uh, go to Florida uh, uh, with Coach Pell. And, uh, and then Danny, you know, I was at the, uh, uh, at the Gator Bowl right. when, uh, um, oh, Ohio State, oh, Coach Hayes. Yes, Coach Hayes, uh, yeah. uh, Pushed well, uh, one, one of our players. Push. I, oh, we hit somebody. I would say more of a punch. <clears throat> well, I, didn't, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it all the way, but I was up in the press box. And, uh, yeah. So, so anyhow, yeah, it's just a little bit of history. And, uh, but, uh, and then, uh, ironically, is when I ended up back at Arkansas working for Coach uh, Burles, um, we ended up, uh, we had to make a change. And, and uh, so uh, I recommended Danny to come up to uh, Arkansas and Coach Burles, you know, took that uh, uh, recommendation. And, and, and if Coach Burles would have hung with him just a little bit longer, yeah, you know, uh, Ford would still be there today. Was, I mean, Danny's a great coach, great coach. and. He's as good with kids as I've ever been around. It's just, Danny owes you, uh, you should have been Danny's agent, that sounds like. Uh, from, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're the one that helped him at Clemson. Well, you know, so. <laughs> Danny wouldn't be hard to sell because, I, I, you know, he's great with people. Right. And uh, he's a great coach. And, uh, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for Danny. Well, you know, you talked about you left Arkansas and you, you ended up being an athletic director and, and you went to Oklahoma State. And then the opportunity came, Clemson opened up um, back in the early 2000s, and that position opened up, and you ultimately took the job. How, how, when it opened up, did you automatically say, I want to go to Clemson because you remembered what it was like in 1975 and you thought it would be cool to run? What brought you to Clemson and got you here to want to take this job? Well, uh, exactly what you said. It, it, you know, I had that history of having been in Clemson. Uh, I just thought it was a remarkable community uh, and, uh, and the fervor that uh, the fans and people had about uh, not only just the football program, or, uh, but the, uh, uh, you know, just the university itself. And so when uh, uh, Jim Barker and, and uh, Neil Cameron, uh, President Barker, uh, came out uh, to Oklahoma and to interview me and, and uh, uh, you know, I really enjoyed uh, President Barker and Neil and, you know, they were, you know, just, you know, the type of people they are. And, and um, I just thought it would be a, an excellent opportunity to come out to, to uh, I, th I think, one of the unique universities in the country it's, uh, and the people and the support and the fervor that they have for the university and the, their athletic programs. I, I just thought it was to be a wonderful opportunity. And, and even though I'm retired, I'm still here. Yeah, you are. So Live right down the road. <laughs> uh, I guess I can qualify as a Clemson net. You are. You're a clear Clemson guy. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, I think um, after that, you know, you talked about um, there were some challenges when you first came into Clemson. Um, and if you could, what you want to, what, what were some of the issues 
that in early 2000s, you knew you had to get correct if you were going to turn not just the football program around, but also the overall athletic department? Well, first of all, let, let me say this, is that, uh, you know, in coming into the program, uh, you know, we uh, were up and down with football, and, and uh, we've had, you know, they, they had some good success in basketball and, mm -hmm. and baseball, you know, they were, they were very good. Uh, but like uh, a lot of programs, you know, that just sometimes you just sort of, you're not, you're not bad, but you're not necessarily good. You know, you're sort of right there. And uh, um, so, you know, we, we needed to get a, a strong and consistent football program and, and, and basketball it had had some success with Rick Barnes and, and uh, uh, so there, and baseball uh, uh, was, was good. And so we, we had, there was, there was a lot of good, there were, there were a lot of good things that were happening. It's not that uh, uh, good things were happening. Right. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of folks will hang their hat on uh, uh, one sport and that one sport, and if, they, if they're, you know, faltering any or not performing as what people want to, you know, they say, whoa, what's wrong with the program? Right. But uh, that, that wasn't the case. Uh, you know, the, the program was, was uh, on solid ground financially. Uh, you know, they had, uh, uh, Started things with uh, you know the, like the basketball facility of upgrading it. Um, same with baseball and our other facilities. So it, it wasn't that anybody was sitting on their hands. They, they were uh, uh, building, and you know you know of course a lot of people out there you know they they, they say well we need to you know you, right. you think you're going to turn some things over and. And uh, and the good thing about the program uh, that I came into is that uh, we weren't in debt. Uh, we uh, there were there were plans to uh, upgrade in facilities, and and uh, that of course that has a lag time because you're you know fundraising, and uh, so. Uh, you know the the program was was in good shape in the sense that uh, uh, we weren't trying to dig ourselves out of a hole financially. Uh, so uh, you know there's some things that we needed to get better better in. And of course that was football. You know because you know it doesn't take a mental mental giant to understand that that is uh, the key mm -hmm. the key element of the the, the puzzle. So. Uh, but there were some uh, very good positive things that were going on, even though, you know, we were struggling in football. Was was the I know the facilities they said they were trying to get it started. Was that the biggest challenge? Was trying to get the facilities up to par with a lot of the other schools you were in competition with? Well, well yeah, I mean, uh, um, but but that's uh, what uh, um, you know, like the basketball. Mm -hmm. had gotten started. Baseball had gotten started. Uh, the indoor uh, uh, track facility uh, had gotten started. Uh, so these things were uh, ongoing and, and starting. So uh, the whole point is it's not that uh, the Clemson administration at that time uh, were sitting on their hands because they weren't. They were they were doing things incrementally and and uh, uh, and again uh, the program was was solvent uh, financially. We weren't running deficits like a lot of programs run. I mean, you know, the debt that people have in their program nowadays is just, just is astounding. Mm -hmm. uh, and. You know, if you're if you're from old school, uh, you know you you know there's a principle. You you go, you work, 
you save your money, and then you get enough, you go buy what you want. <laughs> but that's not the way people look at things nowadays. Right. And uh, the bottom line, uh, I was very fortunate when I came to Clemson that I was uh, came uh, where uh, it was it was uh, managed and sound financially, not running any inordinate debt, uh, that sort of thing, which means okay if we get out and we fundraise and or we get better in some of our sports and you know put it all together then. Uh, there, you know, we got a, we got a, a fighting chance to have really something special here uh, because of the history of the school. Uh, you, you just, I mean, the foundation was there. There have been a lot of great things happening at Clemson University long before I ever got here. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, but there, there was a lot of good things that were going on and and. Uh, and uh, the program was handled in a very sound fashion, w which gave us a fighting chance to uh, maybe take it, get it to another level. And that leads me to the final question here with the segment. You, you, you did leave it in pretty good shape. How do you think you left the program and, and, and then also kind of carry that into what you think Dan Radakovich is doing now with it since, you know, since you've left? Uh, Dan's doing a fantastic job. Uh, uh, we, we, I think he'd be the first to tell you, tell you that uh, we left in very good shape. Uh, but Dan is a great athletic director, doing an excellent job, and, and I have a, a tremendous respect for him. Uh, but we, uh, uh, you know, there was, uh, I always, uh, sometimes I do have to remind people, you know, our, our dad was first national championship we were still in the West End Zone. <laughs> That's right. And uh, <laughs> uh, and that and, and that that facility that they have is is nothing short of fantastic. I mean, it is uh, a tremendous facility. And and that was one of the things, one of the challenges that we had. Will, uh, you, I don't know if you remember what the old West End Zone was with the uh, bleachers that they I had. I do. I remember the press conferences and how uh, we used to. Had to go through a janitor's closet to get to the press conference. Uh, I remember it well. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the West End Zone was, uh, at that time, was something you really didn't want to take anybody into. Uh, That's right. Uh, but, uh, but it gave us opportunity uh, to construct a football facility. Uh, and... and also enhanced the stadium at the same time. And I, I, we felt like that was, was important. Uh, and uh, so we built the West End Zone and there, you know, they, it's now the academic center. And mm -hmm. again, they've done a, a fantastic job with that. But the West End Zone gave us an opportunity to recruit at another level. Uh, and it was a good, uh, very good facility. Uh, and, uh, and we won, Dabo won his first national championship while we were still in the West End Zone. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and the indoor uh, facility that we, we built in my last couple of years uh, was, uh, has really turned out really well. Uh, but- Dabo uh, brags about it all the time. Huh? He brags about it all the time. <laughs> it rains. Well, it, 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 you know, our, our, our first, really our first practice sessions were uh, getting ready to play LSU in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, uh, my last uh, game. And, uh, uh, and the weather, uh, we, you know, it had been pretty bad leading up to the, Chick Fil A bow and and uh, and we were playing a top ten team in LSU, uh, which I'm very proud that I gave Les Miles his first job, mm -hmm. and uh, Les uh, was assistant coach with the Cowboys, and I hired him back and and I'm, I'm going to say this, I'm going to sort of brag a little bit here, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, both Les and Dabo. Uh, 
won national uh, championships, and uh, uh, I feel very good that I gave both of them their first uh, job as head coach. And uh, so, but I'm, I'm regressing on that. But but uh, but the indoor facility uh, uh, helped us get ready for the Chick Fil A Bowl, and and and. Uh, uh, but we had, we had, uh, we had good facilities. And again, I go back and say our first uh, under Dabo, our first national championship was while we were still in the West End Zone, and we had the uh, indoor facility. So we're proud that we left it in that fashion. And uh, but subsequent to that, uh, Dan has just done a remarkable job with the facilities and and uh, and the facilities that they have now is gosh it's, it's second to none I mean there's not a better one out there now, I hadn't seen all of them but right I, 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 I'll go I'll say there's not a better one out there it's tremendous thanks coach so much for joining us and uh, we'll uh, wrap this segment up and we'll come back with some uh, another segment later on as we talk about more about coach Sweeney and and how he got the job, and then also the job Coach Sweeney's doing now as well. Some, some other interesting stories uh, with Coach Phillips from his days as the Clemson Athletic Director. Stay tuned to TCI for more.